34 years ago, in 1979, I walked into the boiler room at Hunters Point Power Plant as a 28-year-old auxiliary operator. I fired boilers, cleaned condensers, and mopped and buffed floors. I transferred to the company's steam heat stations in downtown San Francisco. Then, back to Hunters Point to work in the control room. Bob Cochran, my supervisor at Steam Heat, recommended me to Jerry Cruz, a foreman at Moss Landing, who was putting together a classroom-based operator training program. I helped out in those early classes, and in 1984, the Steam Department created a permanent training staff, headquartered at the old Oakland Power Plant near Jack London Square. Juan Manzan hired me as a training representative in December 1984. And since then, I've been a performance consultant, a learning consultant, a senior learning consultant, a senior instructional designer, a senior learning strategist, and a senior technical instructor. All for a string of organizations. The Steam Generation Training Center, Technical Learning Services, Learning Services Learning Products, Technical Learning Services again, the PG&E Academy Curriculum Development, and PG&E Academy Technical Delivery. And all of those have been pretty much the same job, develop and deliver training programs. I found what I wanted to do and stuck with it. I am proud of a lot of the little things I did do, pioneered computer-based training in the company, built some of the first intranet-based training, designed and used mobile simulators for operator training all over the system, built and delivered dozens of courses, online and off, actually became the voice of internal training at PG&E, and above all, constantly tried to bring passion and creativity to my content and my classes. What happens to you if you stop eating? What occurs, Jerry, if you stop eating? Well, now I'm done. My wife and I are going to spend the spring and summer in northern Michigan, in our little cottage on Crystal Lake, and the winters in our apartment in New York City. A whole new adventure. I'll miss some of you, and there are others who shall remain nameless that I'm just as happy I'll never see again. Best of luck to all of you. I will not say it's all been wonderful and that PG&E is the greatest company in the world. You can never make as much change as you'd like or necessarily in the direction you'd like. You never get the raise you think you deserve or that perfect supervisor. Well, okay, Duff, you're pretty close. But that's just what it's like working for a big company. I never missed a paycheck and I'm pretty sure my pension is safe. All in all, a satisfactory career. But now there are beaches to walk, museums to tour, quiet little restaurants to sample, daughters exciting careers to watch, and a lot of baseball games to attend, with my son pitching in them, preferably. Keep the lights on, please. Goodbye.